Today we are headed to Ashland, Kentucky, to the childhood home of Charles Manson. Now we're also going to go and check out the house that Darwin Scott lived in, which would have been Charlie's uncle, Charlie's biological father being Colonel Scott. So Darwin Scott was found murdered in this house on May the 27th, 1969. He had 19 stab wounds. The reports state that his body was pinned to the floor with a butcher knife. Now, this is just a couple of months before the Tate LaBianca murders. Okay, so coincidence? Maybe. But we're going to go check out that home. We're also going to go see the grave sites of Charlie's uh, grandmother, Nancy, his grandfather, Charlie, which he was named after, Charles Millis. Uh, his uncle, Luther, uh, two of his aunts, and also we're going to go check out the gravesite of Colonel Scott, Charlie's biological father, and Charlie's uncle, Darwin Scott. So let's, uh, let's go. There's a time for Luther. The time keeps on flying. And a whole lot of crying Can you really feel that yourself? Are your feelings real or is it just a game? What a man grandmother Nancy she was also known as Nanny Check this, man. What, the aircraft? No, you're born with the survival instinct to be selfish. Oh, even old JC said spare the rod and spoil the child. You dig? So the first thing that happens, man, is they start giving you their thoughts and making things out of you that they want to make out of. Man, and by the time you reach 30, you're exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. You're a free soul standing in a cage who has to die because he was taught that he has to die and he has to eat because he was taught that, he, that everyone must eat. Why, you'd be insane. And they said, don't go insane. And they said, let me help you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You read a lot? No, I don't read at all. You don't read at all? Uh -uh. I was lucky. <laughs> I, got a, lucky. I got out of the race early. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, I was so smart when I was a kid that I learned that I was dumb, fast. That's good. <laughs> That's the way it is with everyone, not just me. <laughs> You're taught that you can't. They, they even teach you the words. They give you the words. Take all the words away. And don't think in right and wrong, just think in truth. Mm -hmm. All the answers are there. The sound of one hand clapping is simply the sound of one hand clapping. There are no big answers. All the big colleges that we've been building is taking people the other way. The smartest people in the world 
are really the most cut off. Mm -hmm. It's this common people, man, with the soul. It really moves, you know. And In other words, you, you think that maybe progress is not good for mankind? Progress? There's no such thing as progress. There's only change. You dig a hole in the ground, and you build up a city, and you fight a war, and you call it progress. <laughs> you call it change. You call it change. And it's a beautiful game, and it's a perfect game. And whoever wants to continue playing general and going out and killing himself, well, my goodness, I wouldn't want to play that game myself. But if they want to play it, I'd love them for it. If they want to go over there and kill each other. Yeah. You know, the only reason they're over there is because they want to be. They can use any excuse, and they can say, but, but, and, maybe, uh, but it boils down to, man, you know, just one thing. As long as there's hate in your heart, there'll be hate in the world. Mm -hmm. You can't fight for peace, and you cannot capture freedom. <laughs> and it's just a simple little old thing, man, that any little baby could figure out if we didn't put cancer in his mind. Then love is the, is the total answer? If someone beats you with a whip and you love the whip <laughs> what's he doing <laughs> he's making a fool out of himself <laughs> old jc said turn the other cheek <laughs> it's a simple thing man you know <laughs> it's heaven right here jack right here <laughs> So this is the house Darwin Scott lived in and was found stabbed to death in on May the 27th, 1969. There were reports that his body was pinned to the floor with a butcher knife. He was stabbed 19 times. He was the brother of Colonel Scott, Charles Manson's biological father. Ashley, Kentucky, today, me and my wife, <laughs> home of Charles Manson's childhood. The way out of the room is not through the door, because then you just go into another room, which leads into another room, which leads into a bigger room, and oh, you're I still see. inside your cage, man. And you're still inside your cage. Yeah. That's not the way out. The way out is... When did you take up the guitar? When you, before you went into prison or after you got out? Or before, while you were in? While I was in. You took it up while you were in? Yeah. And you composed songs in prison? Yeah, most of them today I just composed them right here though. I'm a street child. I'm a runaway little girl at 15 years old out of Kentucky named Kathleen Maddox. I didn't have a husband. My husband's name was Scott. And he married somebody else and went down the road and she went to Cincinnati and had a guy named Charlie Manson. So this is the grave of Nancy Maddox, also known as Nanny. This would be Luther Maddox. This would be Kathleen's brother. And this is Kathleen's father, Charlie's grandfather, Charlie Maddox.
And now we're going to drive to Catlettsburg Cemetery. Still in Boyd County. About a 10 minute drive from Ashland. We're going to visit the gravesite of Colonel Scott and Darwin Scott. Kentucky mountains when uh, my uncle said we ain't surrendered we're still rebels and we'll be rebels until the end of time because I ain't accepting no Yankee school he said don't go to those schools boy so when I was nine years old I set the school on fire and I went to reform school Responsibility, what they do. When Patty said she was going to do what she did, I said, Take these glasses. I said, If you've made up your mind to do this and this is what you want to do, are you prepared to face this? And she said, Yes. I said, Well, then drop those glasses off on the floor, wherever you go, and leave something witchy for me, will you?